What's up gamers? Welcome back from more Good Vibes and another episode of Red Dead 2. And yes, I did record this one and the last one in the same day. You can't stop me. Lots of crazy fun stuff happened last time. Sandini is super creepy, but I love it. I also hate it at the same time because I cannot step foot into that damn town without getting a stupid bounty on my head. But we got to see Karen beheaded. That was really unfortunate. I really liked him as a character. We got to hang out a little bit more with Sadie. Hopefully we can hang out with her again this episode while I'm currently still dressed as her. Cannot wait to see what chaos ensues for this episode. So thank you guys for joining me today. I really hope you guys enjoy it. So with all that being said, let's play. All right, I am off back to the Saint Denis area to hopefully catch some more side missions, do some main missions, and see whatever side stuff and hidden stuff we can come across. Wish me luck. Ooh, this is really cool. I have not been up here. Definitely have not been up here. I came up this way to chase down the Marco Dragic quest again and I and it again disappeared on me and I figured screw it we're going up this mountain I want to see some stuff that I don't think I had seen yet so now we're just doing some exploring lock box yes please uh just someone needs to lock up their assorted of biscuits that have been Good over here. Ground coffee. What else is over here? Nothing much, but what is this place? Cool. Jackpot. We got food for days. This is all mine. Yes, sir. Scoop the whole lot in your bag, Arthur. Nothing. Very spooky time of day to be up here, too. Ooh, gun oil, yes. Is there a ghost? What's up here? What's this? What's up here? Oh, let's do some scouting. Ooh, what's this? Throwing knife? Oh, uh, yeah. Fine. My oh, God! Oh, Arthur, no! I think this is the second time I've accidentally eaten myself over something. Wait. cellar. Nothing good ever happens in a cellar. <gasps> Dang. Anything good? I mean, ammo, obviously, but damn. Okay. If I am ever in need of some ammo, I'm gonna have to come back up here. Anything down here that I'm missing doesn't look like it. Cool. Well, I guess it's good that I fell over that thing because I would not have walked back there. Ooh. Who lives up here? Is this place like mega haunted. All right, where are we on the map? I just want to keep moving down this way. Let's just keep going, huh? Let's keep exploring this part of the map. I 
not seen this yet. I don't think. Woo! What is that tiny thing up there? Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, the horse does not want to go up there. Way off the, the path. Probably worth checking out. What is this? Guns. There's some dead guys and some guns here. What's up with this? What the hell happened? Lockbox? Gold nugget! Let's go! Hell yeah! Did he... Did he... Like, shoot himself? Who the heck is this guy? Not a lot else going on over here. Fairvale Shanty. Ooh, there's another like little cottagey looking thing here. Cool. Okay. Let's go check this out. This looks like some witchy shit. That is so cool. A sword is some some. Okay. What is that? Oh, oh we gotta open that. Come on, it's gotta be something good in here. She's drinking something. Paratonic, yep. Gotta keep our hair looking good. Salted something. Drink mysterious liquid. Something is telling me no. Something is telling me not to do that. It is actually called the Witch's Cauldron. That is so... Oh! And we got our little hobbit home. Oh my gosh, so that was up to the right. I even know that. Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? I kind of want to do it, because why not? Okay. We're gonna do it. You only live once, Arthur. Bottoms up. Oh, there, 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 there he goes. There he goes. Uh, where did he end up? Where the heck did... Oh, we just, we woke up right outside her home. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? There is the Kalumet Ravine again. Well, what a find. That was cool. I didn't realize I still hadn't been up there yet. It's pretty odd. I don't know if there's any- who's whistling? Who the heck is whistling? Is there somebody up here with me? 
look at that. Hello, sir. What well, hello? Oh, it's Will. Hello, Will. I'm sure I have what you're looking for. What are you looking for this time? Uh, you see this purple flower here? This is sage. But I'll need to experiment with more of it before I can be sure. I got plenty. I found this one with his friends in the woods. I had checked wooded areas before. Let's try this. Let's try this one. Hmm. Easy. Oh yes. I feel ready to take on the world. Can I have some? I have trouble sleeping tonight. A man can go for days on this. You've had some long ones, I'm sure. Some sage may just be what you need. Hmm. You have earned something for all your help. Thank you. It's done. It's taken me years to develop with innumerable benefits to your senses and spirit. I love Miracle Save Tonic. Special occasion. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. Absolutely. Anytime, sir. I was looking at something looking a little suspicious up here. There's just this random crack in the rock. Also looks like there's like a weird ledge up there, but I can't really see it. It just looks like a really odd... Can we go through this? Oh my god, what? What on earth? The f frick is this? What is this? I knew that I knew that rock crack looked suspicious. What what do you do? Um Okay, what do we do? Push. Push. Oh, uh, is there like a thing? Is there something in here that's supposed to... What was this supposed to do? I have no idea. What's even like weird about them? That one's sticking out his middle finger. Watch who you're pointing that at. Some of them have like missing fingers and thumbs. And oh, and arms. That one's got a missing arm. That one's got all of his fingers on its one hand, and then three on the other. So eight fingers. Four fingers. Does that technically count as four fingers if he's got two thumbs? I have no idea. I, have, I don't think I've seen anything else in here that was just bizarre. Okay then, cool, this place is mega creepy, and that's fine. You know, we don't, I don't really go up north all that often, to be quite honest. I wonder if we'll ever end up going to a PD Indian reservation. Um, still never been to, have I been to Ches Porter? I have. I don't know what this is, have I been here? I don't think I've ever been to this. I don't remember ever really being down and around here before. 
me see. We we've definitely been around Fort Wallace before. That's that's for sure. We know all about that place. But I've been to Kalumet Ravine like once. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if we'll ever end up like coming around here more. Now that we're a bit later into the story. Because I feel like there's a reservation up there and it's got to play into the story somehow. Oh, this place is really pretty! Yeah, I've definitely never been around here too much. Not at all. Oh wow, how cool. Yep. I've never been down in this valley. Ever, 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 ever. I wonder if this little cabin has something fun. Gold nugget, yer! Let's go! What the f What's up with this? What is up with these awful murder scenes? I just walked in, I saw the gold nugget, I was like, yeah, and then I look around and I'm like, oh, some dude got bludgeoned with the crowbar, and then he tried to hit back with the hammer, and uh, clearly it did not end well for either of them. Uh, well, that's just, that's just a shame. That's just a shame, but, you know, more gold nuggets for me, so I can't say it was a total loss. Well, here's an area that's a little bit unexplored. Oh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of dogs though. There's a, there's definitely a lot of dogs. Window rock. I want to get on my horse and get away. Okay, boy. Ah, sheesh. Entered some hunting grounds or something. Yep. Okay. This place is very interesting. Ooh, there's like a cool rock. Okay, whenever there's a weird looking rock structure thing. We all know what to do. Search it. Search it. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Window rock, and it's in the shape of a giant window. Who'd have thought? Oh, I wonder if this is one of those, um, those rock paintings that that guy wanted us to turn in. Oh, oh, but it's saying strange statues. This, are you, you're gonna tell me that this seriously has something to do with the statues. How? What? One, two. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. <coughs> Did it say anything more about that? Wait. Did he draw as many? So there, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven statues. That is so freaking weird. What the hell? Can we jump to that or will I die? Will I die? Why am I hearing like creepy noises too, huh? Boom! Oh shit! That was a huge mistake. 
Arthur, what did that rock ever do to you? I really want to try to jump over to this thing, even though I don't think it'll really do anything. This is an odd looking ledge, I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. This is looking again suspicious. <coughs> This looks like a path- I'm telling you, this looks like a pathway up- up where? Why, you can't go up there? All the way? Come on. I think Arthur is officially the king of the world. I think this is, I think we have hit, we have hit peak Captain Morgan. <laughs> this is insane. I hope they, I hope they measure, like, yeah, they mark that because I want to see if I can come back here and try to decipher. I think this, this painting has something to do with the weird, yeah, with the weird mysterious statue thing, but I'm not really sure what that painting did. Was there anything in that journal that gave away what that was, what that puzzle was? Kitty! <laughs> Where was this thing? Can we, like, read it? So it looks like... There's like the bird thing in the center and it's pointing towards one of them. Maybe we'll revisit it at some point today. Um, I smell a mystery, and a mystery needs to be solved. Alright, where's my horse, and how the frick am I gonna get down from here? Oh man, Arthur. Call me Ezio, because I be climbing. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, bud, you just gotta get a band-aid, just no sweat. Just get up and move on. Alright. I think that's enough mystery for one day. My brain is, aha! I'm just like, what? what's happening? There's so much happening all at the same time. Get on my horse. Alright, let's go home. Let's go somewhere. Let's go somewhere. What are you? Wait, wait, wait! Don't go, don't go, don't go! Don't go! I wanna see what this horse is. I wanna see what type of horse that was. Oh, rip. Walker. Okay, just some generic horses yep. up here. Alright, let's head out. I don't know where we're going, but let's go. Ooh! We were just swinging through... Oh, wait a sec. Yeah, I was just swinging through Strawberry because I figured we're out. I haven't hit up Strawberry in a while. Hit up Valentine recently and discovered something a new quest that was really fun that I hadn't seen, so I was like, maybe I missed something with Strawberry. There's this. I didn't know he could give us... Well, hello. Hey there. You Hector? Hector. That's me. Alden tells me you're, uh, 
discouraged man. Ah, oh. you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. I am. All right. In that case, I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Mm -hmm. Oh, hmm? wink, wink, wink. <laughs> Do you have any bounties first? No, thank God. That's a first. Oh, receive mail too. Cool, this is invitation. Le well, mille. I haven't got all day. Well, I want to inspect this document first. What was it say? May 1899, Monsieur Kilgore. To you now while Dude, no don't line. talk to me while I'm a reading. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions, it's hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near really my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now I have spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly, but just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Do you want Perhaps this you're... now, then? Or Dude, no? shut the front door. Perhaps your gung-ho frontier spirit and my cold, old-world cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting at least. Come back to the mayoral so, residence any uh, night you wish. Do you Knock this? on the door and my assistant, Jean-Marc, will let you in. All right. Okay, now what? Sheesh. Here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Page heading up from Blackwater. Ooh, Blackwater. Now, I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you might want to try a more covert approach. Or lay down some explosives. <laughs> That's more my language. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're the expert. That's more my language. Thank you, Hector. Appreciate it. Blackwater, though. Ooh. Have not been there in a hot minute. I'm gonna go check the... The merchant. Wow, long time no see there. Well then, have a look. Well, yes. Well, I hear the bank got cleaned out over in Valentine. It it did. I have no idea why you're talking to me about it. I would like to sell oh, some stuff, maybe, possibly. Gun oil? No, that's mine. Here, you can have these. I don't really. Uh huh. I don't really use these. What if I could just take some of this stuff and steal it? Ain't nothing to see here. Thank you. Where did I find my... Where am I? Oh, there's two entrances. Look at that. What is this place? I didn't know he had a he had a backside to his place. Is this all the merchants' place? All right, let's leave. Um, how far away is this this wagon thing? I wonder how long that'll stay there for. Hmm. So I was really wanting to... Actually, you know what? We're right here. We might as well just do it. <gasps> I just can't. I keep getting sidetracked, y'all. This is so bad. I agree. Well, ain't that America for you and me? Ain't that America? And I don't know the rest of the words to the song. Okay, so he said be covert and like plant some dynamite? Uh, okay, but Maybe I'll have to also throw some. Is there a good place to hide around here?
I planted some, but how do we know it's going to go off, you know? Uh, okay, well, this is going to be fun. You're going to have to go. Go, Talion. Go, Talion, the stallion. You're running towards the dynamite. Right over it. No? Ah, shoot. They caught on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, come here! Get my horse! Well, that didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. Oh, shoot, I'm about to get run over. Boom. Easy. Loot the cash from the state. Oh, Arthur, what are we doing? What? What? Oh, wait, I do have a lock. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Boom, easy. Seven cents. You poor. All right. Okay, boy. Okay, where to next? Uh, probably should head back home. Okay, there's Marco Dra Dragic again, but I feel like by the time I get to the dude. He's gonna be gone once again. Ooh, Henry Lemieux. Um, a lot of different side quests that we can do. Hmm. I don't want any of them to disappear, but it seems like a lot of them keep coming and going and coming and going and coming and going. Um, again, maybe we'll try to do Marco while we're here, but I'm gonna have to fast travel to get to him in time. Seriously. Alright. Let's see if we can go. Let's see if we can get there in time. Ah, <laughs> it's the hermit again. I'm about to seek. Oh, I will. Oh, come outside. This is for killing me before. If you don't leave, I'll blow a hole in you. Ah, if I do first. This is for killing me earlier. You douche nozzle. Yeah. At least I came back here the last time and I got a really cool map out of this house, so. Rare shotgun, thank you very freaking much. I have, I have no regrets. I have no regrets. Yeah, I already looted this house before and got a treasure map out of it to which we found the treasure. So that was, that was, you know, got that, that's over with. But I'm so happy this chapter has been closed. I got my revenge. I feel whole again. Damn right. What? I'm coming to help you. What? Health care. Um, I got some uh, medicine. Medicina. Ya para qué? No medicine for you, all whiskey instead. No puedo. Why? 
whiskey was what he truly needed. All you had to do was say me gusta whiskey. Whatever whatever whiskey is in, in Spanish. No comprendo. <laughs> Amigo. Lo siento. Adios. <laughs> just as I started to ride away from this, it just appeared and oh my gosh. The amount of times I tried to do this quest and have it disappear on me is too many. Okay, let's do this, finally. Better be good. Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn <laughs> and leave you just a puddle on the floor. <laughs> Professor, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> it's me. I, um, I helped you at the pond. You did. You did. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> In the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem and you mess it up. Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. Uh, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. Huh? Uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solved it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. <laughs> they insult Americans, specifically you Ohioans. The detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filaments blow solid. Whoa. When all three conductors in flint, lightning strikes the rod, and we harness power of mission! To life. Very, very, very dangerous to me. There we go. A bang up job. Oh my god, you remind me of like Borat. Very nice. You got this. Oh, found it. Yep, we found it. It's glowing. It's glowing. It's gone. Oh, jeez. Whoa! That wasn't you, was it? 
No. No. <laughs> There we go. Holy shit. Rapid loss. Red turn to the left. <laughs> I love this guy. I don't know who's my favorite, this guy or like what was his name? Chardonnay? Or is that a is that a champagne or a wine? It's one of the two, I can't remember. Mr. Whole Ass. Or Mr. Lightning. <laughs> is he building Frankenstein or something? I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. <laughs> well now? Well now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this. Am I missing something? It's Frankenstein. Ah. Uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Oh, Go. good. Quick, please. Do it yourself. I can't even get up there. Damn it! What I got myself into. I found it. Until all Just tell me what goddamn one of these things to pull. I am an invisible engineer, not an electrical technician. Okay? You better hold my side up here. What? Oh my lord, okay. Wait, hold on, I wanna say middle? Yeah! Okay. Hope it works. I wish we could just slide down this ladder. Come on, Arthur. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like seven thousand. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Wonderful. Clumsy. Is that it? Or now? Uh, I am so 
You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Arthur's like, cool. Yeah, cool dude. Nice. <laughs> well, that was worth it. That was worth all the tries that I had to do. The the trial and errors to try to get that quest, so that was that was fun. Poor robot. He just shattered his eyeballs. Let's pick up another wagon fence and a bounty. Why not? Oh, I want to see if they disappear. Wait your turn. Almost done. It's a lot of stuff we can do right now. There's like a lot of side quests uh, and one main quest timing. left to do that I've on got the a thing. Message here for you. Aha, uh -huh, message. Yes, yes. <clears throat> this is for you. Watch yourself with this one. Should be two, maybe three coaches, and they'll be well guarded. Dang. All right, don't you worry about me. But I do worry. I do worry. I think he's got a little bit of a crush on me. It's my curse. It's my curse. <laughs> but I do worry. It's my curse. It's. It reminds me of that show. Um, was it Parks and Rec with the one guy's character, uh, Billy uh, Billy Eichner or something? He goes, my curse is or, I think it's caring too much. Oh, that's what that reminded me of. Okay. The worst thing about me is I care too much. <laughs> is that what they're wearing in Paris? These Thinking days? of going after them? Are yes, you? they are. I'd wager you're more than up to it. Try looking for that one out by Catfish Jackson. Oh, okay. Get him and his cronies. Tell him that we're just railway workers here. Exactly. You are, however they phrase it. At yourself, him Absolutely. Himself. Well, yes. So much to do, so little time, you know. Uh, we still got the other. Wow, yeah, we got so much stuff to do. Um, and then the other bounty is all the way down there. Wow. Okay. Maybe we should go do the bounty first. So much to do. Maybe we can all fit it in one video. I'm starting to talk like that, dude. Now <laughs> I love Alden. Why on earth? Challenge. Accepted. I don't know what that guy said, but what it probably wasn't nice. Hey, mister. Okay. Bouncy should be here somewhere. He is wanted dead or alive. We found him. Okay, we got my Lancaster. And let's switch this to our lasso. I feel like he's not going to be alone. Oh, okay. Doesn't look like there's anybody really here. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. Nice. Oh shoot, are they coming back here? Good work, my friend. I am proud of you all. That will send a clear message. Let's hitch the horses and relax a little. <laughs> shoot. Which one is which? Come on, gather round the fire. I have something to say. What the hell is this? Somebody's been in the camp. I don't think that's the bounty. This is the bounty. Let's go. Woohoo! Hello, sir. Come here. 
Easy. You're making a big mistake. No, you. Ah, ah how do you do that? Time enough. Get your fifty rope off me, you peasant. You peasant. Okay, let me just loot your buds here real fast. Release me right now. No. No. I don't think it will. You take care now. One second. All right, now. No oh wait. I fight for your country. Ooh, yeah! I almost missed that too. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I almost missed out on payday. He did not just get free, did he? I don't think he did. Oh, oh how did I miss that too? <laughs> oh, okay, 25 cents, but you know. Okay. Take a cha-ching. Let's go. Nice little camp you had here too. To shame. All right, looks like that's really. No, okay. All right, boy. You Let's seek to go. deny my freedom when I fight for yours. I seek to get paid. That's all. What are they offering? A hundred dollars? Two hundred? <laughs> I wish you was worth a hundred. <laughs> You're a cheap son of a bitch. I almost <laughs> didn't bother. What? There must be some mistake. My name is Camille de Milmont. Do you know who yeah, I am? Blame your parents for that, not me. I am no criminal. I fight for you, for all of us. For our future. Save you, Belmont! They ain't taking you to State House! Alright, who are these, your buds? Yes, well, well my. That smile off your face, bounty hunter. Go on, boys! Kill this son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my gosh, these bounties are getting more and more fun. <laughs> Any last words? There'll be more where they came from. Believe me! I am a realist. That's all. People need hierarchy. They crave it. It is the foundation of civilization. Well, I guess I just ain't that civilized. <laughs> Please, take my advice. Better to face the truth now, uncomfortable as it is, than when it's already too late. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Here we are. Just shush. You're making a big mistake. Got We're another on the one. Same side. No, we ain't. I got the Millamont. He ain't happy about it. Strike me down. Sheriff. Put him in the cell then. You when did I have a mask on? Sheriff Tomas. Sending this Yankee against your own. Quiet down. That's always been all you's problem. Do Damn noisy for folks good. <sighs> you my that's money. We'll pay for it. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. You have not seen the 25 bucks plus like another 25, well 55, 25, 15. So came out with way more than that. Beautiful. Member of the Lemoyne Raiders gang is wanted dead or alive for stealing state property and murder. He has a $55 bounty on his head. Not too bad. Collaborator, traitor to the south. <laughs> I had a fondness for you before we were acquainted. Now, not, not so, so much. much. Mm -mm. This guy's still here? Again? It's <laughs> good to see you. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh, what you doing here? Yep. Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. 
Hobbs, uh, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, but... Thanks for the heads you up. You seem too scared. No, I'm not. Yes, not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. None of your business. Well, <laughs> you better get out of here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, good chat. Good chat once again. Um, ooh, definitely want to hit up a fence. Definitely want to hit up a fence. Got quite a few gold nuggets to sell. Okay, ooh, boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go. All right, making a pit stop. Been a minute. It has. Been good for me by any chance. I miss sure. you. Let me see. Ooh, look at that. No questions asked. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, keeping that. Oh yes, here we go. Platinum. Oh, yeah. You don't do this as a profession, huh? Reutlinger pocket watch, 155 yes. bucks. Is that a Reutlinger? Yeah, it's yours I don't now, bud. My crusty eyes, friend. I don't believe my crusty eyes, Brad. You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Dude, oh my gosh, I'm Much so rich. Martin's my load. Thank you for your help. Love how even he was like, is that a real Reutlinger? What? Okay, let's go do this wagon. All right, now we gotta wait for it to arrive. I might just wait up here. Where is the darn thing? Oh, it looks like that might be it. Yup, that is absolute. There is a. Shoot, maybe we should use some. Force the convoy to stop. Probably get some weapons. Lancaster. Let's try the bolt action too. Still gotta get that one all groovy looking. This is gonna be a lot of people. Well, you left me no choice. Uh. Oh shit. There's another dude! Oh shoot! He just hit me! Shoot, I have, um... Oh crap. I don't even know if I have enough health left. Okay, we're fine. Ah! It's like, why is it not shooting? My goodness! Whoops! <laughs> Shake it off, Arthur, you're fine. Holy smokes. Alright. I wanna loot this thing. Oh my goodness! There we go. <laughs> Two! Two for one. Money pile, wait, wait, wait. This is a whole heck of a lot. A hundred dollars, and that's just that one. I wonder if these guys will really be worth too much. Didn't have any money on them. I really should 38 cents. I don't think these guys will have much on them anyway. I'm just gonna go get the other caravan. Let's eat some food. Hoo wee, let's go. 
Another hundred dollars. Yeah, let's go, buddy. All right, let's get the heck out of here. We are rolling yep. in the dough today. Making it rain. Yeah. Woo -hoo. I'm like too scared to get, even get off the beaten path here. What the hell? What is that? There was a white dot over here, wasn't there? Yeah. Come home. Ah! Who? Uh, oh my god, there's yeah, a good boy. freaking alligator, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What the hell, wasn't there something? Okay, screw this. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, we're good, yep, we're fine. Ah. Let's get back on the road. Ah. Where's this shine? Okay. Finally getting our moonshine. Easy, easy. I hate being out here this late. What time is it? We got well here? past my bedtime. Get some. Okay. There we go. God, that is a creepy moon. Oh, stop a moment. Hey. Hey. Uh. A uh, word of warning. I seen a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chance. I don't think you Come will. Down from there and drop your I'm taking this ship. Oh, shot your hat off. And there's another guy. Where are you? Oh, nice. Okay, easy. Easy. I tried to be nice about it. I tried to be nice about it. Okay, we gotta be really careful. So, I got your moonshot. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. No. You can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> Wait, Bell. Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my Wait money. Wait a second. I think uh, I know well, that name. It is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where hmm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Ha <laughs> ha uh, No. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? I guess. What the heck? Okay. So let me see. Arthur ambushes a wagon carrying a shipment of moonshine. And how does that have to do anything with... Wow, we got four side quests here to do. Should we talk to our good friend Charles Chardonnay? Chardonnay. 
<laughs> okay. Um, maybe we should also finish up the Jim Boy Callaway quest since we're right here. Let's see how much more we can finish up before this episode is over. Feels like so much stuff has happened. Here he is. I guess he's supposed to be on this really fancy boat. Again, we were just here not too long ago. And we're not very popular here. This is the Grand Corrigan Riverboat, Queen of the Lana Hetchy. Hey, I'm looking for Boy Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. Cool. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. <laughs> oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we, said he'd done it? No. Boy, sure, I don't care. Just as long as I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing <laughs> I want to be, so you can't be me! What a way with words. Uh, damn you, Zero Eleven! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, <laughs> damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned! Oh, God. <laughs> But I can't take credit for that, which I... Dem says I didn't, I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. I will kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> I'm a legend! Yes, you are. Uh, all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> <laughs> you got quite a way with Dude, the stop pointing that gun. Well, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, let, let's not. Nah. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him, an old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State oh. marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. <laughs> Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Right, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I kind of like that. They make a cousin killer a marshal nowadays. <laughs> morning, mister. Good morning. Oh, hope you've been having a good day. Okay. Charles Chetonet? Who is, who's this damn, I, we have to. We have to. We have to go chat with our old buddy Charles. Move. Where is my horse? Is that Coca Lally Cola? Lally Cola, why do I feel like I've heard of this? Oh, hold up. That's Dutch. Hold on, Dutch. I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. Gotta go talk to my buddy Charles first. <laughs> Excuse me.
Where could our buddy be? Oh, there he is. My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. <laughs> In Paris, they say leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. Sure, sure. Oh my god, he's so funny. I'll tell you what I won't miss. Hold up. Thought I saw some like writing in here, but never mind. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I never know. I shot on a bar. Quick, behind you. <laughs> But maybe, like, d uh, don't do that? Come on. <laughs> we are away! Come now! Follow me! Those fellas, you, you shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit! <laughs> hey, come on! My fresh comment was better than any of the drinks they served in there! I'm going to avoid that place. When you got to go, you got to go, you know! <laughs> I love this guy. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. Gotcha. We go through here. What's this? <gasps> Quickly! Oh, it's nothing. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Please do not. Get moving. Come on. Arthur's such a good dude. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of radios. Not so much. The new kinds? The really in the We go through there. Ain't no place for hillbillies like you in town no more. Oh my god. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Right behind you. I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the Hush, hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint Denis, after all. Saint Denis? What are you looking at? Bar shit. Money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. True. You develop the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. Look at you, pretty little man. Hello, boys. Hello. <laughs> We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Oh, 
Good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my sheep. <laughs> What the hell? What the? F you, you butt? Oh, he's got a knife. Hi. Um, I'm about to use my sword. No. Oh, let's go. You. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. <laughs> ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. What a sight. What a... Oh, we need to get out of here. Shit. Goddamn. Unbelievable. What? I know who could have done that. Goddamn kidding. There they are. I sh Stop I didn't do anything. Yeah, I killed them. I was helping my bearded lady friend. You have plenty of time to think. Good God. I try to help somebody out and this is what happens. Arthur's like, this is the last time I'm helping out a dude in a dress. Ooh. Oh, look what the old dad actually worked out. Hi, sir. So, welcome to our humble police house. I have a question. <sighs> Chief. I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, humane. and he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you a hundred dollars. He better pay me back. Negotiate. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But, I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay, 50 sounds a little bit better. We can do that. I can stop being so cheap. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as, uh, Finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Jeez. Oh my god, I can't even like imagine. I feel like we should just return to him really fast. And finish up this quest. I can't. Oh, we're probably going to have to watch the demonstration. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, anything else around here? Oh, that's right. Okay, so we still got the Annisburg quest. But, you know what? While we're here, let's finish off with Dutch Vanderland. Yep. You ought to take care of that horse there. Real fine beast. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Morning. Thank you for Morning. noticing. Can I go through this back way here? You see my friend? Anywhere? Oh, he must be through here. What's up, party there people? Come on. 
Keep walking. You're late. For days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Holy crap, we're just busting Ladies in there, no plans. This is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Holy now, smokes. Remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Seems very rushed. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. Hand over all your money now. Quick. I said of course, of open course, the gate you. and let my Sheesh. acquaintance in. Yes, of course. Come on. These folks must have something on Okay, give me everything you got. Quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. <laughs> There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Check this. Open it. Oh. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. Oh, Dutch. It. Damn. We got a problem. What do we There's do? There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. I think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. We try. We try. Follow me, gentlemen. Alright, we're just shooting then. Like, what a sloppy robbery this was. I couldn't even see the reticle. Oh, that's not good. another gun on me? I do not. Let's just keep going with that one. Wait, 
Where's the law? Woo, we need to get behind cover. Okay, we need to hide. are left. <laughs> nice shot. Okay. Where are we going? Go, 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 go. Shot. That was so close to being the Wilhelm, the Wilhelm scream. Pistol, this is rough. Everybody running down the street. Oh, you just ran me! Dutch! Not the civilians! Just head straight for the bridge! Yeah! Damn! They blocked the road! Hold on! Oh, great. Dynamite? No way. Are you kidding me? Nice.
about me? Just get us out of here. $165 bounty from that. That was such a sloppy robbery, like, Dutch, what are you doing? You're losing it. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. Don't we all the need bank it? Is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Probably a hey, concussion. You did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Ooh, total take. $15.33 from that. Oh my god. Okay, let's take a look at our journal. Yes, so one of the highlights from today, coming across this weird statue cave thing. What was before that? Yes. R.I.P. Kieran. <laughs> but I feel like an animal living out here. The whole place gives me the creeps. Yes, because I'm pretty sure we actually saw a ghost. So, I don't know. I don't really know too much about what's going on with this. I think this is tied to the statue cave. But I'm not really sure what this means. What this, this is like supposed to help solve the puzzle um i know that you can interact and push something within each statue so if you guys know feel free to write below in the comments maybe like a hint or a tip or whatever or if i should just go ahead and google it might do that might not do that i don't know um met a real pair of well i don't know quite what they were names were so ridiculous i won't even begin to try to remember them but they were greek or latin or gibberish pair of twins dead keen on insulting each other and hitting each other to impress a woman. I done lots of stupid things to impress women, but this was ridiculous. I ended up being Willem, William Tell. I think they was college boys. Guess education ain't always the answer to mankind's problems. Nice enough boys, but odd as hell. Dude, I love how wise Arthur is. Even though he's like an uneducated hillbilly, but he's got some really wise moments. That was hysterical. Yeah, went to see the professor at his lab. He had built a sort of mechanical sun. He seemed to think it was amazing, but he could not get the thing to work properly. It was not half as impressed with him as he was with him. Oh, I was not half as impressed with him as he was with himself. <laughs> All right, and then that's it? All right. So let me see what we have for, after receiving a tip from Bronte about the trolley station in Saint-Denis, Saint holding a large amount of cash, Dutch, Arthur, and Lenny meet to rob it, and it fails horribly. So what do we have to look forward to for next time? We still got to finish the Professor quest line. We have Dutch. We're meeting back with Dutch back at the camp. Um, probably swing up by Annisburg and finish the Jim Boy Calloway one as well. But wow, we discovered a whole ton of crazy random stuff. This, this just was like a lockbox with, you know, two, two guys dead outside of a little mini, mini cabin. There is a witch's cauldron where I drank the brew and it just teleported me outside. 
got him way too drunk way too quickly. We found this mysterious statues. And then we found window rock, which had something that I think correlated to the statues. Pretty sure we also saw a ghost just outside of, well, just inside of Lemoyne, outside of Blue Water Marsh. That was really interesting. Um, almost got attacked by some alligators, though. But this was definitely a really, really fun episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This was an absolute blast. I just was having fun the entire time. I couldn't get enough of it. It seems like with this being the last Dutch Vanderlyn quest, it seems like we might be approaching the end of chapter 4. And if that's the case, this one definitely felt a lot shorter than chapter 3. And that's kind of sad because that means we're one chapter closer to being done with this game and having been playing it for so long and got gotten to know all of the characters so well it's gonna be really really sad when we eventually have to move on i'm not ready if you guys enjoyed this episode and if you're looking forward to the next one make sure to like subscribe and click that bell button to get notified for the next episode hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next time